Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch, Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 140, more or less. Sometimes I get it wrong, but more or less around there. And it is also the third one in this series that I'm doing, the third review and food pairing that I'm doing in this mini-series on 21-year-old single malt whiskies, And it's so exciting because I've done Bunahaven, which is an Isla single malt. I've been doing one Speyside single malt, and this is the second one from Speyside, and then also Old Pulteney from the northern highland of Scotland. But in this video, Glenfarclas, 21-year-old from the Glenfarclas distillery, founded in 1836 and together with Balfenny, it is situated in the well-known Speyside region. And if you have a very close look, you'll probably see it somewhere there. And in relation to the bigger Scotland, you can see where it is situated. And I've got a photo here. It is owned by J&G Grant. And this is more or less what it looks like in winter time. And that's what it looks like in summertime, the Glenfarclas distillery. Glenfarclas comes from the ancient Gaelic language and it means Valley of Green Grass. This is the bottle, Glenfarclas, 21 year old single malt. This is a fantastic distillery. I visited it with my son two years ago and we had such a good time there in the tasting room. We tasted a whole range of Glenfarclas whiskies. I really like, like them very much. This is the bottle here. It says 750 moles for South Africa, 43% alcohol by volume. And look at that. San Francisco World Spirit Awards competition 2015 double gold. We're looking at a double gold winner and the gift tube this whiskey was matured mainly in ex sherry casks and Glen Farkless is pretty known for that of course and uh, it's also natural color which I do appreciate natural color let's see if I can show you some legs, whiskey legs, that is, not my legs, there we go, maybe it'll form on the glass there, dark amber color, that's how I would describe this color, and that is of course the influence of the X sherry casks, especially if we know that this is natural color, 21 year old Glenn Fartlett's. It's a very glossy, sherry aroma that I'm getting on the nose. Almost like elegant sherry. Some other fruits. I'm surprised by the pineapple that I'm getting on the nose. But there's also some pears, which is normal for a Speyside, Speyside whiskey. Some citrus. But the pineapple that I'm getting today and the caramelized banana, vanilla, honey, and a slight nuttiness. Mmm, very elegant. Let's see what the palette, what's on the palette. Mm. This is a very elegant whiskey. It's got some body to it, but it's very smooth and there's elegant sherry on the palate as well. Some chocolate on the palate. Sweet citrus, apples, raisins. 
I'm getting some ex bourbon cask influence, and I'm also getting some ex sherry cask, but more ex sherry cask. Apricots, dried fruit. It doesn't have a long finish. Um, not like the others that I've done, other 21 year olds that I did in the past few days. A shorter finish. More dried fruits, apricots, apples, raisins, honey, vanilla, malt, a bit of oak, oak spices and a slight bitterness, light pepper. Lots of things going on on the palate. I think this is a whiskey that one can easily overlook. This is a whiskey that one can easily quickly taste and say nothing going on. But if you look a bit deeper there's stuff going on here even though it's got a short finish sweet rich malted barley on the finish light pepper and a little bit dry this is actually quite good a few drops of water 43 percent alcohol let's see what happens what i'm just experiencing i would actually not add water because it was quite good just as it was without the water but let's see just to make sure let's see more vanilla hmm it is as if the water opened up more vanilla caramel and sweet dried fruits Yes, elegant, even lighter and smoother than before the water. So my summary would be simply elegant, classy, sherry cask whiskey. That is it. There's no explosion of flavors. There's no dramatic impact. It is a elegant, classy whiskey. 2000 Rand in South Africa. More or less, apparently from what I could find out, £99 in the UK. And if you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, connect with the chocolate flavors, with something like chocolate covered raisins. Then you connect with the dried fruit and the chocolate flavors. Stewed fruit in vanilla custard will work well. A date crunchy will work well. I have tried mozzarella cheese with Cajun spices. It worked fantastic, which was surprising, but it just worked. You know, sometimes you need to just experiment, experiment, and then you find some hidden gems in terms of pairing adventures with whiskey. This is going to surprise you because I chose for today cottage pie, minced beef and vegetable cottage pie, and you can see it there. But here is the secret. Because of the dried fruit and the sweet notes in the flavor profile, I have added some very sweet fruit chutney on top of this cottage pie because that will be the connect with the whiskey. So I am going to try this. A bit of sweet fruit chutney with lovely, lovely cottage pie. Look at that. And uh, I just know it's going to connect with this whiskey. The, the, the chutney with the sweet dried fruit flavors and the rest of the snack, it is going to form a complete picture. Mm. There we go. See, look at that. As long as you have something that can form the connect, then you then you you're a go, and nothing else in the food snack, of course, must clash with the flavor profile of the whiskey. Then it works fine. What a nice adventure! Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for watching and for subscribing to this channel, and uh, I'll see you soon for the last in this series of 21-year-old single malt whiskies. Until then, slanger.